guys what's up and welcome back to my channel now by the title of this video you know what it is i am going to be reacting to um top gun and this is a part i almost forgot what i was gonna say scratch that um and this is a part of my new series that i started a year ago um where i watch iconic movies that i've never seen before and it just so happens that top gun is one of them and i figured with the new one coming out soon in theaters this would be like a perfect movie to react to i've never seen the original um there's only one top gun apparently this is the second one um because yeah like i don't think it's a remake or anything i think it's a continuation from the first one also about this video today that's going to be different from my other videos is i'm actually um recording my reaction like i did the sound of music usually i'll just give my review of the movie once i've seen it but i am going to be reacting so i really hope you enjoy this um the editing process is no joke so please enjoy it please give this a thumbs up and without further ado let's get right into the video so um as i'm typing this movie in it is actually on netflix so if you want to go check that out go ahead and steal somebody's account fun <laughs> paramount okay paramount on march 3rd 1969 the united states navy established an elite school for top one percent of its pilots its purpose was to teach okay i'm pausing on the beginning because sometimes i can't read this in a uh, one sitting because it goes too fast anyways i'm gonna read it on march 3rd 1969 the united states navy established an elite school for the top one percent of its pilots its purpose was to teach the lost art of aerial combat and to ensure that the handful of men who graduated were the best fighter pilots in the world they succeeded today the navy calls it fighter weapons school the flyers call it what do the flyers call it top gun <laughs> I'm literally a joke. Flyers call it Top Gun. Let's get it. Let's go, baby. I'm not a credits person. I'm fast forwarding into all this. The 80s music, literally. This was in another movie. I can't think of it. You guys know what I'm talking about. This song is iconic. So I just want to get this out there. I am not the biggest Tom Cruise fan when it comes to looks. His movies are pretty good. Um, but I don't think he's that cute. Looks like he's a single. I was just saying that. I don't think he's that cute. He's okay. In this, he's not that cute? Well, no, like, I don't think Tom Cruise is cute, period. I understand. But I mean, when you look at this movie, no. he is cute, though. No. He's a cutie. He's not like, he's fine. You just started it? Mm -hmm. Just a disclaimer, I'm literally not an action movie head at all. Action movies are actually my least favorite um, kinds of movies. So hopefully I get a good reaction to you guys because Shit. these are not my kind of movies. Right. Got it seems like such a boys movie. Right. I don't know. Okay, buddy. In the 80s, there was a lot of like manly man movies, which I live for. Some I like, some I don't like, but again, not an action fan, so. Not fire until fired upon. Everybody's sweating. I'm hot. The mate's in perfect firing position. He's right on Cougar's tail. Wait, are they doing no the training and somebody came right for them? He's trying to piss us off. I'm not, not a good multitasker, y'all. I can't talk and pay attention. So sorry if I, like, missed the obvious. Whenever I think of Bogey, I think of Iron Man. We got a Bogey. <laughs> Cougar, come on, Cougar. Cougar's having a panic attack. Yeah, he got a picture of his wife and kid. I would be having a panic attack too. Not even that I'm claustrophobic, but that I'm in like a stressful situation with people in my ear. Like, that up a taste. You're stressing me. He was in Back to the Future. He was the principal. You're a slacker. <laughs> Come on, Cougar! Okay. I thought it was about to be a death first five minutes into the movie. Guess not. When Cougar lost it, turned in his wings. You guys are number one. They're going to talk good. You screw up just this much. You'll be 
flying a cargo plane full of rubber dog shit out of Hong Kong. Yes, sir. Danger Zone. What freaking movie was this song in? Because I just, it's right here. Goose is cute. I just want to point something out. I literally just want to point something out. I see black people in this movie. You know what I mean? Like, diversity without forcing it, without literally stressing it. Guess what? 1986. Were they stressed? No. Were they worried about it? Absolutely not. But do you see black people? Yes. Thank you. Press and play. Just wondering, best be sure. Who's the best? In case some of you wonder who the best is, they're up here on this plaque on the wall. The best driver in his rail from each class has his name on it. <laughs> Look at the way he's literally they looking have at the him. Option to come back here to be top gun and Tom Cruise has his eyes locked in. He wants to be the best. You think your name is going to be on that plaque? Maverick? Yes, sir. Of course. Even you can get laid in a place like this. I'd be happy to find a girl and talk dirty to me. <laughs> My preference of uniform is not military attire. But still love a man in uniform. Yeah, nice man. Goose, you're such a dickhead. What about the juke to get in here? Well, the list is long but distinguished. Okay, well, so is my Johnson. <laughs> oh, I think I can figure that one out on my own. I heard that about you. You like to work alone. What are we about to kiss? Matt, you must have sold another girl like you saw, huh? The testosterone is something yeah, serious. Like Miss, hey, hey, don't worry, I'll take care of this. You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. There's no tenderness like before in your fingertips. You're trying hard not to show it. <laughs> so cute. So good at. I'm Charlotte Blackwood. I'm Maverick. Maverick? Because the Pentagon listens to her about your proficiency. It's all yours, Charlie. Thank you. Uh oh! Well, we will be dealing with F5s and A4s as our mix. Not Charlie Bush. Now then, as most of you know, the F5 doesn't have the thrust to weight ratio that the MiG-20 has. Tommy boy, are you blushing? Charlie's pretty. I don't know. Doesn't fit Tom's vibe. I feel like. We have a hop to take. They have some great lighting on her. Our deck on this hop will be ten thousand. I mean, her eyes are like boom, and her hair is like blonde, and her lips are like red, and. <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna come on something. Um, Tom Cruise's eyes are beautiful, but um, no, not that. I'm definitely realizing, like, so far watching this movie, that Iceman is, you know, more of the goody two shoes. He follows the rules, um, and he's like, I mean, basically perfect. Then you have Maverick, who's Tom Cruise's character, who is really, really good at his job, uh, but he takes risks and um, he, you know, bends the rules and tries to find loopholes. Kind of reminds me of, um, Oh, I can't think of the movie at the moment, but um, it's with Andrew Garfield and he wants to join the military, but he doesn't want to use weapons because he doesn't believe in murdering people because it goes against uh, what it says in the Bible. He's a Christian, um, but he ends up saving like thousands more lives than anyone um, and he didn't kill anyone. So yeah, I kind of get those vibes. So that's exciting. I hate being put in the box. So I get Maverick's character. It's like sometimes you got to break the rules. You know, what are you going to do in combat? Dismissed. Who follows the rules in combat when you're fighting the enemy? Say one thing. If you had to go into battle, would you want him with him? I would, yeah. Just don't know. I would. Like I said, you want who follows rules in battle? Like I I, I would take Maverick any day. Maverick is the type, he's gonna make the hard decisions, um, and some people can't do that. He's gonna do it even if it means um if it's like controversial or not like the quote unquote right decision, he's going to make the decision. And he's going to make it quick, fast and in a hurry because he's impulsive. He's a risk, but he's going to get the job done. Mm, yeah, I like Maverick so far. Um, He's very arrogant. And I really don't know how I feel about this Charlie situation. She's not giving me like romance vibes. She's giving me like stay over there. I'm over here. Um, I don't know how they're going to make me like, 
get into them. Maybe they have a moment, maybe they don't. But I'm gonna finish watching this movie. Sexy. Some sexy, oily, sweaty man with abs. And dog tags on, which dog tags are hot. <laughs> the testosterone. Definitely love the soundtrack. I like Goose a lot. He's cool. Level-headed. Thinks about more than just himself. Doesn't care about being the best. Oh, Tom's looking sexy. Tom's gonna meet Charlie, baby. <laughs> this whole motorcycle situation. Yeah, he's... The more this movie's coming along, the more he's turning me on. He's like, let me take a quick shot right here, boy. Now with you looking like that, not it's not about to be a quick little shower. She's not giving me what mm, I want her to give. She's giving me mom next door. I want her to give me girl next door. Because Tom Cruise is giving me boy next door with a little spice. Looking real nice. Thank you very much. Hey. Can I just say this music right now is so 80s love montage. Like... Please don't tell me this doesn't sound like something that would be in a John Hughes movie. Like, I feel like I've heard this song in 16 Candles, freaking pretty in pink, like the dun 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 dun, like. <laughs> I feel like Blaine is gonna come out and say, I always believed in you. It was you who didn't believe in me. <laughs> Blaine is such a tool. Anybody seen that movie? Is this chasing him? Don't chase a man, girl. That ain't cute. Okay, so you almost killed yourself. Oh god. <laughs> this sex scene. This rated R. And rated R they always show boobs. Ooh, that was hot. He gave him a 9 out of 10 for kissing. He used good tongue. She licked the bottom of his chin. That's hot. Tell me this doesn't sound like something from a John Hughes movie. Like, I. I'm telling you that this is when Claire did this and did this and did this to freaking John Bender. Like this was the song that was played. That must be so aggravating knowing that you're better but because you don't play by the rules you don't get the recognition i want maverick to win because in a way maverick is the underdog kind of the only thing that doesn't really make maverick an underdog is that he believes in himself and he is arrogant so usually the underdog is somebody who you know is like coming from the bottom up but i think he's just trying to like prove himself and prove a point um so i don't want to call him the underdog but i do want him to be in first place and, uh, coming down The 80s music. Oh, that was a stunning. Ah! I'm scared some about to go down. Oh, right now, two weeks until graduation. Um, yeah. Just trying to tell you guys where I'm at in case I can't find the clips on YouTube. <laughs> so I can get not copyrighted. Oh, now get the hell out of there. Yeah, just let Maverick take the shot. Right. I'm in. Five more seconds. Come on, high right. I, I'm in. I'm off. Shit. Come on up, man. Well, I can throw this. It's not good. It's not good. Hey, Dan. It's just. Uh, what the hell be? Oh! Oh! 
Oh my god. Woo, I thought somebody got literally got blown up. God. Ooh. Oh, my God. My heart hurts, my chest hurts, just because. I think maybe it was my fault. Can I just say from Meg Ryan and yeah, Tom Cruise, that was some amazing acting. I really like my chest hurt. I need to have my moment. And it's on because you know what? Goose didn't die for nothing. I'm telling you. Oh, let's get it. Let's literally get it. And you know what? Everybody's going down. And he got that crazy look in his eye. Like in Kill Bill when she goes red. When she sees. When she. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Collecting my thoughts. Tom Cruise has collected his. Let's go. Yeah, don't come at me. My best friend just died. I will slap you. New partner, my ASS. Talking to me like I'm crazy. What's Iceman got to say? I want to hear what he has to say. Since we were in this situation because you didn't want to take the shot. Talking about 10 more seconds. 5 more seconds. We don't have 5 more seconds. Yeah, come on. Come on with the come on. I'm sorry about Goose. See creeping in the shadows, lurking, eavesdropping, being a fly on the wall. Hi, it's Wolfman. Yeah, Maverick just quit. Maverick just quit. What? What's thesis? Here comes Charlie with our useless self. Let me know if you need anything. Well, maybe I do need something. My best friend just died. You don't tell people, let me know. It's like, I will be around if you need anything. Excuse me. Let me know if you need something. How am I going to let you know? I'm grieving. May I? I'm supposed to call you and be like, I need you. What? You know what, Charlie? Charlie is not doing it for me. I don't know. She's not, uh, I'm not feeling her. What, you want to water with lemon? <sighs> Whatever. I wasn't going to leave without saying goodbye. You're... It's good to see you. Right. Maverick, cut it quick. Make it quick. Short, fast, in a hurry. I'm out of here. Congratulations. Bye. Charlie has some nice eyebrows. I don't understand. When I first met you... No. Don't tell me to move on. I'm not the one. You can. I'm personally me. Like I don't take that move on stuff so easy. Like, whatever. Right. Somebody died. This isn't. I made a mistake. I'm here to help. You're useless. Have fun in Washington. Bye. See you later. Thanks. You did nothing. So I'm too late. Girl, you're just too useless. Too late. Left. Too long, Pete Mitchell. Bye, girl. What kind of speech was that? You know, 
What kind of get back up on the horse kind of speech was that? That was the worst get back up on the horse speech I've ever heard in my life. Okay, so right now we're like in the last like 15 to 20 minutes of the movie. Um, I'm glad that uh, Maverick decided to graduate and um, what his general or whatever his name is, the man with the blue eyes, that monologue lecture that he gave him was exactly what he needed. I think he needed to hear, you know, that his dad was a hero and he wasn't just some mess up, you know what I mean? And that, um, you know, he doesn't have to prove anything anymore. You know, he just needs to do a good job at his job you know he doesn't have to prove anything to anyone and or to himself honestly um yeah so they're on a full-blown mission now What the fuck? Come on! Let's get back in there. Come on. You can do it. Nice! That's what I'm talking about. This is good. What are you doing? You're slowing down. You're slowing down. I'm bringing him in closer, really. You gotta do what? <laughs> nice. I got a good lock. Firing. Nice. The romance is something serious in this movie. <laughs> a lot of romance going on. You can be my wingman anytime. <laughs> Where do you think you want to go? Not Washington. I thought of being an instructor, sir. Not at Washington. Top gun? Yes, sir. God help us. <laughs> yeah, he should be an instructor because he's the bomb. You know what? I feel like this would be such a moment if I liked them together, but maybe it's just a me thing. Maybe I'm a hater. Who knows? But I don't know. This isn't a moment for me. I don't like Charlie. I do like this song. One quote that I love from this movie is, take me home or I'm leaving you forever. Ugh, here she is. Okay. I love you. Uh, I like the credits. Ooh, Rick Slider. Baby. Viper. Viper's lecture. I call him the man with the blue eyes. Whoa, I'm gonna pause it right there. Danger zone! Yeah, if you lasted this far, you know I finished the movie. My thoughts on it are, I actually really liked the movie. Um, It was super good. I don't know. It was just a good, solid 80s movie. Um, Will I go be seeing the second one? Quite possibly. Um, I haven't really decided yet. Um, I definitely like things about this movie. The movie as a whole, I'll give it like a 7 out of 10. It wasn't my favorite. Like I said, I don't really like action movies, so that has a lot to do with it. 
Um, but I did cry when Goose died because that was freaking sad and I wasn't expecting it. But yeah, I hope you liked my reaction. Um, and yeah, hopefully I can do more of these because I know the reactions get views and you guys like the reactions. And I'll also still be doing reviews, of course. Um, but for right now, I kind of want to keep up this reaction series, reacting to iconic movies I've never seen as opposed to reviewing them. Um, and then also too, will be reacting to like more trailers as well. Um, but I can also do some 2022 movie reviews because um, I've seen some so far, but I don't know. I feel like I'm always on the late freight and the reviews people want to see are like from the main people not from like the little people like me so I guess I'll just leave it to them for now until I get up there but yeah I hope you like my reaction today please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video bye